Today I wanted to talk about the Helios 442 lens, as well as two methods I use to help streamline shooting with the lens. Before I start, if you don't require any details on the lens, you can skip straight to the method here. The Russian-made Helios 442 is a 58mm f-stop 2 lens. Up to 3 million copies of this lens were built between 1967 and 1991 in USSR, Russia. The lens has an M42 screw mount, which means you need to consider this when purchasing the lens. I use an M42 to FD mount adapter in order to fit to my Canon A1. But you will need to research an adapter for your particular setup, be it analog or digital. The lens focuses from infinity down to 0.4 meters or 40 centimeters. It also has an f-stop 2 down to f-stop 16. But what makes this lens confusing? And why would you need methods on how to shoot it? What's confusing about this lens system is that it has a preset aperture ring. On top of that, your blades are present when moving from f-stop 16 to f-stop 2. But the most confusing quirk is the aperture is essentially backwards to what you may be used to. f-16 is wide open and f-2 is nearly closed. This means in order to pick a specific aperture for your shot, you need to utilize the lens's preset aperture ring at the front. If you don't utilize this, you need to work backwards. So there's two methods. So let's begin. Method one, aperture preset. Begin by approaching your subject. First, you will need to ensure your lens is wide open, no blades present. To do this, set your lens to aperture 16. Whilst your lens is wide open, you should find your framing, focus as much as you need for visual, and use your internal light meter. Determine your preferred aperture via the light meter before moving the aperture ring itself. Now, if your ring's sitting on 16, you can change your aperture stop to what your light meter has given you. Do this by spinning the front aperture set ring to your left or anti-clockwise. Once you have landed on your preferred aperture, spin your free aperture ring to the right or clockwise until you reach two or the end. The blade should now be at your specific stop of aperture. You can now focus and take the shot. Method number two, freehand or no preset? No, no preset, no preset. Method number two completely voids the preset ring at the front of the lens. You'll only be using the aperture ring. As usual, approach your subject and frame up. Ensure that your lens is sitting at F16 to make sure you get an accurate light meter reading. Once you've determined your preferred f-stop from the light meter or your extremely mad skills, you simply need to move the aperture ring to the backwards number of what you require. Here's a little diagram to explain. Note that this isn't a clean comparison. F4 lies in the middle and it is adjusted accordingly. This is due to the construction of the Helios lens. The distance between each f-stop increases as you go along from stop 16 up to two. Therefore, the opposite should act the same and ramp up. So please be aware of this. This process might be faster, but you may be more liable to making mistakes. So those are my two methods when shooting with this lens. It's totally up to you on how you shoot with it. You can take all these methods with a grain of salt and you can shoot it slightly differently. You can shoot under or overexposed and change your f-stops however you want. It's totally up to you. And that's one of the real benefits about this lens is that it has a free flowing aperture system, meaning you can do stops in between. You can do half and quarter stops in between your aperture setting. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If it is, let me know. If you have any other methods, let me know as well. And just stay home and shoot whatever you want with your mad new skills. <laughs>